how the main guys in the Little River Band had uh, quite different personalities at times. Here's part five of our series on LRB with Graham Goble, B. Bertels, and Glenn Shurek, the three main guys in the Little River Band. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. So in Little River Band, um, the way it was handled is that basically Glenn kept to himself a lot, you see, because, I mean, it was too important what was going on with the career and the success we were having to leave, but he found it difficult because he wasn't um, he wasn't the musician. Glenn's an entertainer more and a wonderful singer, and but he's not the musician uh, that the rest of the guys were. And so when we might spend four hours trying to work out a, the, the best modulation into a middle eight or a chorus, I mean, he just goes over the pub, call me when you sort this out. Uh, cool change, we were three days without him in the studio trying to come up with what we ended up coming up with, and he just came in and sang it. He presented it to us as a reggae feel which we didn't respond to and then after a few hours of us trying it in fast slow different time signal, whatever he just said well i'm i just this is just too much for me and so the producer um, wisely um said well just you just uh, you know go over the pub for a while or just we'll call you when we're ready three days later we call him and we've got this magnificent track that, that is Cool Change. And Glenn just came in and just sang the pants off it. And it was, you know. What was his reaction it, when he came in? I mean, he creates uh, this, uh, brings this song in. I remember uh, as I was going through the songs and he leaves it with you. I mean, there's an amount of trust there as well. What was his reaction? No, he, Glenn doesn't react. He doesn't, like he, he's never said to me personally, that's a great song. He, like uh, I remember one time playing 30 songs to him uh, in a row, and he didn't like any of them. <laughs> he, he does, he's not like that, you know. And, and at the time, I, I, I felt um, that it, it, this is really hard. But that's Glenn. He, he's a, he doesn't get involved. Even at band meetings, he's, you might be having a real heated discussion about something. Should we do this? Should we do that? Glenn either won't say anything or just walk out. Like, he, he doesn't want to engage with that he doesn't like conflict and that's just the way he protects himself i don't know that's his thing he just protects himself that way uh, whereas i'll get in the ring verbally with people not physically but verbally i will be the last man standing with an argument and 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 in the studio if an idea is not going down then i'll just keep put putting out ideas until we find something that we all like whereas glenn would just be sitting there on the stool and not not wanting or even being able to contribute musically. He felt that this is just all a complete waste of time. Can't we just count it in and play the song? Well, we can't because there's too many problems with the musical arrangement and this is going to take days to sort out. And he, it's a concept that he doesn't understand and because it's not his um, experience, you see. Starstruck, well, Elvis, yeah, he was, he was the first guy up on my bedroom wall. Yeah, but meeting, I mean. but meeting wise, meeting when you met someone, because obviously backstage you'd probably bump into people. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Joni Mitchell, yeah, I managed to say, oh, hi, jo hi, Joni, welcome to Australia, and then turned away because I was so, I was just shaking in, in, in her presence. I, I, I never carried on the conversation. Isn't that weird? Those people are what, is, what inspire me. Now, the Dillons, the Joni Mitchells, the Van Morrisons, the Paul Simons, you know, the really special, special ones. And, of course, the Beatles. They're always there. Yeah. I mean, there's, no one's ever touched, touched them. And, you know, they're, they're all around me all the time, yeah. all the time. And in our Little River Band series with Glenn Shurek, B. Bertels, and Graham Goble, we have a lot of extra material like this. What point did you know this is going to work really well? Well, I think, um, and, and this happened also with John Boyle in producing, we got to a stage where instead of going for take 30, 31, or whatever, you know, we decided that um, we were only going to give a song five takes 
five tries at it. And if we didn't get it on that day, that song would be pushed back to the following day when we would come back to it fresh. And so most of the songs that we recorded with John um, were recorded that way, that, you, that, that was our rule, uh, that we wouldn't, you know, record the basic track of a song more than five times. And, um, and if it didn't work out, we'd move on to the next song and, uh, and so forth. So over a period of, you know, we used to take about three months to record an album. And so, uh, but, but that's how we settled on uh, what take to go with which one to choose, and then from, from there on, of course, we started overdubbing. When I talk to musicians, I ask them sometimes, why are you still going? I'm glad you are. I'm always happy if someone's still doing what they love. And a lot of them say, well, I feel like I've been an underachiever. And I'm going, how can you feel that? You've had multiple hits. And they go, well, it's never enough. I like what I'm doing. I think I can be better at it. Not from an ego point of view, maybe a little bit. And But I get that. I'm never going to retire. I love what I do. Yeah. I've never been this far either in, in my life. No one has, you know, and that's what I'm looking at now. I'm I'm seventy something. I can't remember now. <laughs> how many how many seventies are there? <laughs> There's a resurgence for those old songs. A resurgence for wanting to have Graham Goebel, B. Bertles, and Glenn Shorick on the same stage at the same time. I want to thank the guys for talking to us. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Take care of yourself.